Microsoft's powerhouse Surface Book 2 image Microsoft being the best has its price print print pro read more devices hands on hardware Microsoft Surface Book Surface Book 2 the Surface line of tablets was expanded in 2015 with yet another slightly oddball variant the Surface Book the Surface Book was a Surface-style tablet that was detachable from a base but allowed the combined device to perform as a top-of-the-line laptop. It featured an innovative hinge that, combined with a detachable tablet, allowed multiple viewing and usage postures. Both components had batteries but the base also held a GPU that allowed the whole thing to perform well enough to play contemporary games. In October of this year, the second version was launched and it is even more of a powerhouse than previously. Marcus' first released variant was a 13.5 a 343mm version but a 15 a 381mm is now available, with a slight improvement in specs, namely an upgrade of the GPU. The Surface Book 2 SB to 343mm version is available in several variants, from a dual-core Intel Core Y5 with 8GB RAM, to an i7 quad-core with 8GB RAM right up to a quad-core i7 with 16GB RAM and 1TB of SSD storage. The base of the 343mm variants hoses the GPU, an impressive NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 with 2GB of DDR5 dedicated RAM, whereas the 381mm variants get a GTX 1060. Destiny 2 at 60 frames per second on a Surface Book 2. Very businesslike. Image Media Team The tested model was a quad-core i7 with 16GB of RAM and 1TB SSD. The first thing that strikes on taking out the device is the high-quality fit and finish of the chassis. The magnesium alloy allows for precise features, nicely beveled edges and a reassuring feel. The dynamic fulcrum hinge has been improved and even with the device powered off completely, the screen release button works reliably and intuitively. Speaking of the screen, it is as one has come to expect from the surface line, superb. On the tested model, it is the 343mm 13.5 pixel sense display at 3000 by 2267 ppi, featuring 10 point multi touch. It produces vibrant colors and deep blacks, with no change in capability when docked or not. The i7 variants have dimensions of 312mm by 232mm by 15mm, and a weight starting from 1.642kg, all of which is very manageable in a laptop. However, with the screen detached, it feels very light at 718g and is easily managed with one hand. All of the usual features are here, from the Windows Hello facial recognition camera to a forward-facing 5MP standard camera and rear-facing 8MP1. A raft of sensors include ambient light, proximity, accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer. There is a full-size SD card reader, two USB 3.1 ports and the surface connector. Gone is the mini display port in favor of a USB Type-C connector. On the screen component is a standard 3.5mm headphone jack, the only connector present. Type-C first The USB Type-C is a first for the Surface line, but while some have lamented the loss of the mini display port, the Surface dock still provides multi-screen capabilities via the Surface connector. It could be argued that not being able to connect an external screen directly to the SB2 is a flaw, but there are already reasonably priced adapters that go from USB Type-C to HDMI and such, so it is not so much of an issue. Another criticism has been the omission of the Surface Pen, it now being an extra. Again, many people would not have use for the pen, so it is possibly a sensible approach to take. In news, the SB2 is as you would expect from any quad-core contemporary chip supported by a bucket of RAM and a vast SSD. It is smooth, responsive and fast. Applications load almost instantly and perform fluidly, even when manipulating large spreadsheets with thousands of lines of data, while having Outlook, Word, a browser or two with dozens of tabs, music and PowerPoint all open. In fact, so difficult was it to tax the device that a game demo was downloaded to properly stretch the capabilities. While extensive benchmarks have been posted online, this hack generally finds that a good game with out-of-the-box settings is a good measure of overall performance.
With some 45 gigabytes of Destiny 2 demo downloaded I recall when Quake was less than 10 megabits, I dived in and completed the first mission without even noticing that it was churning out a decent 60 odd frames per second at 3000 by 1955 resolution. That may not sound terribly relevant in a business-oriented review, but it indicates that even with the likes of video editing, 3D rendering or art VR usage, this is a powerful device that will do it all. Combinations The combination of top featured laptop, right down to the 105mm by 70mm trackpad, as well as the full touch interface, means that this is a multi-talented, multi-usage machine that fulfills all roles. It is as powerful as a desktop, as intuitive as a pure tablet, and more versatile than any laptop. However, all of that capability, especially dressed as sharply as this, comes at a price. The tested variant retails here for €3,549, including VAT. That is a lot. Comparisons by comparison, a MacBook Pro with a similar processor, but half the SSD storage costs €3,399. So the SB2 is not wildly outside of expectations, but it is still quite a hefty price tag for a laptop, albeit one as diversely capable as this. As this is firmly aimed at top-level professionals, another way to look at it is the five-year hardware cycle. For that perspective, it is a mere 710 euros per year, which I SNT that bad at all. And that is it. The Surface Book 2 is probably the most capable Windows 10 laptop on the market, but is competitively priced in the market. So, if you can justify the cost, the device delivers. Simple as that. Microsoft.com slash n dash ie slash store slash surface dash book dash two slash tech central reporters read more devices hands on hardware Microsoft Surface Book Surface Book 2.